thank you very much. Um, yeah, hello, my name's Tom. I'm from Salford. For those of you who don't know, Salford's kind of like Manchester's hemorrhoid. <laughs> There's this saying in Salford, and it's, uh, give me your fucking wallet. <laughs> nah. So there's this saying in Salford, and it's uh, an apple a day. What the fuck's an apple? <laughs> nah. There is this saying in Salford, though, right? And it's uh, you can take the boy out of Salford, but you won't get far due to the ankle tag. <laughs> nah. There is this saying, though, in Salford, right? <laughs> And it's, in Salford, the poppy appeal is just a girl who really wants some heroin. <laughs> uh, tell you what, all right, let's, let's find out how posh the room is. Um, so give me a chair if you think you're working class. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, give me a chair if you think you're like middle class. <laughs> okay, now, there's not gonna be a lynching. <laughs> It's not the start of the French Revolution. It didn't start in Hot Water Comedy Club, did it? Um, all right, well, I'll tell you what, right? I'll find out how posh the room is, right? So give me a cheer if you've got a dad. Yeah. Well, quite a posh crowd then. Yeah. Um, I always... I always knew that I was working class when I genuinely went on holiday to Stockport. <laughs> How my dad got that past my mum is beyond me. Him just going, well, yeah, they, we're, we're going to go and see some pyramids and some museums, hat museums. What was that, love? <laughs> Nothing, just some museums, mate. I feel like you know that you're from like a like a, a shit place when like shit like horrible things happen on the uh, on like the public transportation. Like all of this, right, is genuinely true because I had to make a police statement about it, right? <laughs> all right. So um, I was on the tram in Manchester because Manchester's got like trams and that, and um, <laughs> and I was sat there just kind of minding my own business, just going. Stinks of shit on this tram. <laughs> like worse than usual. <laughs> but I was like, well, do you know what, right? There's a baby on board. Maybe the baby's had like an accident or whatever. Like, like I'm not going to judge it, right? It, that, I'm a dickhead if I judge a baby for shitting itself. <laughs> aren't I, right? I'm, I'm the unreasonable one, right? right? But a few minutes later, I was, I was fucking giving that baby some death stares. <laughs> Right, it was getting so bad, I was genuinely, right, I was looking round at the crisp packets on the floor, going, has someone done a turd in that Pringles can? <laughs> right, we were heading towards a tram stop, right, at which point this man got up, <coughs> walks towards the doors, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> so he walks towards the, walks towards the doors, at which point I saw him flick a whole turd out the bottom of his <laughs> trouser leg. And it landed in the middle of the carriage. <laughs> and like, the whole tram was in fucking shock, right? As, <laughs> as he went to walk and get off the fucking tram, right? And that was when I saw, do you know that phrase, not all heroes wear masks? I saw an example of this. One of my fellow commuters who was like, I'm not gonna fucking live with this. <laughs> Him getting off the tram after, it. that's his turd. <laughs> <coughs> right? So he goes to walk off the tram, at which point I will never forget these words until the day I die. <laughs> right. He turned to him and went, at least kick it off, mate. <laughs> uh, 
At which point this man proceeded to boot this turd <laughs> towards the sliding doors. <laughs> they closed, then reopened, smearing the shit everywhere. <clears throat> At which point he got off the tram and we carried on our day, right? Like, I had, I, I, every word I've said, right, that is police record. I swear <laughs> down, right? Because I had to make a statement about that. And I'm not going to lie, I am not above having said to the officer, yes, sir, I believe you could say that I witnessed an accident that day. <laughs> uh, tell you what, right, I'm going to, I've just been flashed on the light, so that means I've got like about a minute left. Well, about two minutes, about a minute and a half left. <laughs> right, I've got, crack on, right? So I'm going to, that's the whole part of the light, right? Right, I'm gonna t I'm gonna read this out, right, and then I'm gonna tell another story, and then I'm gonna fuck off, right, <laughs> right. And this here, people keep laughing at it, but believe me, I'm not proud of it, right, <coughs> right. I have recently started jizzing on my girlfriend. <laughs> I always felt weird about it, but I think now it's okay because I found someone that I don't respect. Right, this is my final, this is my final little bit that I'll do. Right. So, uh, has anyone in here ever had to save someone's life? No, no, this is Liverpool, we don't fuck it, we let them die, mate. <laughs> Can't grass on you for nicking off them if you, they're already fucking dead, mate. Well, I, I had to save someone's life, right? Um, I went for a romantic stroll with, with my girlfriend at this, like, like this point in the city. And my girlfriend was like, why don't we go down that bit of the river where we've never been before? And I was like, all right, yeah, that, that'd be nice, right? We went down that bit of the river. We realized why we didn't go down that bit of the fucking river, right? <laughs> right? We were walking down, and across the river, we saw what can only be described as a man with his bum out. <laughs> and upon closer inspection, it was a smackhead shooting up into his bollocks. <laughs> right. At which point, right, he fell over. I'm not gonna lie, I laughed. <laughs> right. At which point he revealed a smaller, skinnier smackhead behind him, like a fucking heroin Russian dolls. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, at this point, right, we heard from across the river, excuse me, I need help. And we're like, fuck, right, what do you do, right? <laughs> so we went over and helped. <clears throat> My girlfriend's a nurse, so she did not help. She's a fucking criminal. <laughs> right, right. She was, we went over there and we were going, we've been giving him CPR. And we we're like, w what have you been doing? And they went, that's not CPR, you fucking summoning a genie, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Right, so I'm on, nine, I'm on the phone to 999. She's giving compressions. People on 999 are going, breathing his mouth. And I'm going, I'm not breathing in his mouth. And she's <laughs> right. Lady smack face, breathe in his mouth, please. <laughs> right. And what they're doing is they're using like the GPS off my phone to find out where we're at. And they're going, they're going right, so do the compressions, do the breathing. They're going to come on, on the way, tell them that. And I go, right, so keep doing the compressions, do the breathing. They're on the way. Right, so keep doing the compressions, do the breathing, and run away. Right, so keep doing the compressions, do the breathing, and run away. Keep doing the compressions. Like, do you want me to just put you on speaker, mate? <laughs> right, at which point, right, right, at one point, we restarted his heart. He went, went my chest is sore. We were like, well, we're not fucking surprised, mate. <laughs> Stop compressing. We stopped compressing. He died again, right? <laughs> right. Right, at this point, the paramedics arrived, and rather than going, well done, you've saved someone's life, I swear to God, they went, why didn't you put his bollocks away? <laughs> right, you guys have been lovely. I've been Tom Chalk, catch you in a bit.